Jessica Cartalia with your evening digital news brief for Wednesday, January 9th. The search is on for a man who's considered armed and dangerous after a wild chase and crash on I-95. It all started this morning when police in Wilmington tried to pull over Dewan Robinson. He took off and got involved in two crashes, one with police on I-95 near the airport, the other at Broad and Oregon. He eventually got out of his car, leading to a manhunt in South Philly. Three officers were injured in the chase, but they should be okay. Robinson is a person of interest in at least two murders in Wilmington. Talks to end the partial government shutdown end abruptly. President Trump called his meeting with Democratic leaders this afternoon a total waste of time. They're at an impasse over the president's request for almost $6 billion to build a wall on the southern border. Tomorrow will be the 20th day of the government shutdown. The president will travel to Texas tomorrow to visit the border. And take a good look at this man. Police say that he's wanted for trying to sexually assault a woman in South Philadelphia. According to police, the man forced his way into the 30-year-old woman's house on South 7th Street early Saturday morning. After he demanded money, he tried to sexually assault the woman before punching her in the face and running away. Philadelphia police have found the homeless man accused of being part of a GoFundMe scam. Officers picked up Johnny Bobbitt Jr. after an arrest warrant was issued yesterday when he failed to show up for a hearing in Burlington County Court. Bobbitt, Kate McClure and Mark D'Amico all face charges for allegedly making up a feel-good story to rake in more than $400,000 in donations. GoFundMe has since reimbursed the donors. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and much more right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.